welcome to this session uh, we are going to learn in this session abs abs uh, is uh, elastic block storage basically you can understand uh, uh, through it's like a virtual hard disk and basically it attached to your existing ecs instance and you you can uh, uh, save is uh, availability zone in different organizations so basically it work as a also backup there are also given the uh, say the volume and snapshot and we will understand the de uh, details about the volume and snapshot uh, including lab in this session okay let's start okay so amazon ebs will allow you to the create a storage volumes and attach them to the amazon ec2 instance as i said you can attach the, the storage volume to your existing ec2 instance once you attach you can create file system on top of the volumes you need to create the file system uh, to run a database or any other operation you required amazon ebs volume are placed in a specific availability zone where they are automatically replicated to the protect your you from the failure of the single component so it plays in a different availability zone based on your configuration and basically it is like your single component for your protect for your failure okay so what is the use of uh, ebs and how it's important so it's a disk in a cloud so you can understand such so layman language that it's a virtual disk in your cloud it attached to your ec2 instance you can have os and database on that uh, <coughs> ec2 instance but you can uh, not attach single ebs to multiple instance okay so there are two things volume and snapshot basically uh, we are seeing the name of the volume ebs that volume is exist on ebs so basically attached to your ebs uh, it's like virtual hard disk snapshot exist on s3 you can create a snapshot of your volume and uh, this will store on your s3 snapshot are point of time in copy of volume so basically you can create the copy of your volume so it's like uh, uh, same uh, clone of your uh, volume snapshot are incremental this means that all that only the block of that have changed in since you last snapshot are moved to the s3 so basically once you taken the snapshot and you are taking the incremental snapshot so basically whatever change in uh, last uh, volume and it will be stored in a new uh, snapshot so basically change of that volume if this is your first snapshot it will take some time to create so first names it will be take some time so there are types of ebs uh, there are some types of ebs is a general purpose ssd provisional iops ssd and magnetic standard there are some more type also added in a latest ui so basically it's be uh, divide into the different iops so general purpose ssd is designed for 99.99% availability Uh, there is a three iops per gig per gigabit with up to ten thousand iops and ability to burst up to the three thousand iops for short period per volume under one gig. So, its uh, volume is uh, uh, till one gig. Then it will be uh, give the iops up to the ten thousand and per iops one gig uh, support uh, for the general purpose SSD. Uh, provisional iops ssd is designed for the iops uh, intensive application such as large relationship no uh, uh, relational or no relational relational database so basically it's designed for uh, uh, big uh, operations of iop iops so basically uh, database require more iops so you need to use the provisional iops ssd if you use need more than 10000 iops so it will also uh, allow to the more than 10000 iops for different Uh, applications like uh, database and many other application which require the um, more iops magnetic is the uh, 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 standard uh, lowest cost gigabit of the all ebs volume types so basically uh, for normal purpose you can use the magnetic magnetic volume are ideal for the workload where data is accessed infrequently so once data is accessed through infrequently so it require the magnetic and application where the lowest storage cost is important so it will be easy and cheap so we will use the magnetic uh, volume and uh, snapshot security so security is more important snapshot of uh, encrypted volume are uh, snapshots 
once you created so it will be automatically encrypted from the volumes and once you restore that uh, uh, from uh, snapshot so it will be automatically decrypted uh, you, you can share a snapshot but in only case that the uh, snapshot are uh, unencrypted okay okay guys let's go to the lab to understand how to create volume and snapshot okay so I have uh, created one uh, instance and we can see here the volume and there are one default volume is here so it's a gp2 so let's connect the backend and uh, lsblk so it will show your partitions so there are xvda is a default partition 8 gig let's minimize this one okay so let's create new volume here so i'm creating the channel purpose is here and this is the magnetic so i'm creating magnetic here here you can choose the different version so i'm giving the us base to a i'm creating volume here okay so volume is created now okay so now you can uh, see the uh, here once you refresh you can see the volume is created here and it's available okay so i will check again so no volume is attached here so we need to uh, we need to attach to the, our instance so our volume id is 010 and let's attach to the instance so attach volume here you need to select your instance around it okay so basically this is the mapping and basically it's giving an artist for in a linux kernel it's renamed sometimes so probably our linux would be the xvdf so let's attach and check okay so volume is attached here in use okay let's see here okay so you can see here 100 gig xvdf partition volume is here attached okay so let's start so I'm here file so basically okay so problem is the root access okay so let's create the file system so mkfs command will create the file system minus t will give you the uh, partition uh, file system type and it is a ext4 and this is your mapping xvdf okay so file system will be created here okay i'm creating one directory okay and uh, now I'm, I'm mounting that uh, file system to the this particular directory so using mount command okay so it's mounted with the uh, file server uh, directory so i'm going to in file server directory okay let's see what's in the, uh, this uh, directory so there are one default file so rm minus rf lost and found okay so now let's see there is nothing okay i'm creating here a text file okay <coughs> okay i'm creating one more file testing dot html Let's see what is this. So in a file, file there are two files which uh, we basically store on the new volume which is attached here. Okay. So 
Okay, let's come out from this folder and let's unmount this one. Unmount our volume dev xvdf. Okay, I have unmounted this one. Let's again go to the folder file server. Let's see. Okay, there is nothing. Okay. So basically we have unmounted uh, our uh, volume so I am going to here and I am creating one snapshot here I am so creating snapshot uh, basically you you remember that our new volume is 0 only I am giving the name of the file server so now it's create it will take some time create as basically it will create copy from your uh, whole file system of your volume so it is in pending state and it's create uh, copying that your volume to your snapshot so in the first time it basically takes some time to copy so let's wait for some time uh, you can go to the volume and to understand uh, this is the uh, volume and uh, attach the new volume this is the volume description your volume id size created uh, in use attach so you can see here volume type is standard alarm you have not given snapshot is not created at all and it's now and volume is by default is encrypted unencrypted sorry uh, this is the status of your volume so io status auto enable io io performance not applicable so you can see this is the monitoring of your volume so here you can see that the different type of matrix here attached basically attached with the cloud watch you can configure here also uh, alarm alarm from here and this is tagging okay let's go to the snapshot or oh, is it created or not so still it's in pending state let's wait some more time okay so this is the snapshot uh, properties uh, this is a description status volume owner product codes uh, progress of your copying and other things as of now it's not encrypted permission here you can attach the permission also tag so we have created name is the file server so it's tagging okay let's refresh let's see the status okay now it's completed so your snapshot is created let's go to the volume okay and uh, this is the volume which we have already unmounted so let's detach so I'm detaching this volume okay you can see the status of available here then only you can uh, confirm that is volume is detached okay so it's now available so volume is detached now I'm going to remove okay so let's remove this volume okay let's go to the ms -BLCM. okay so there is no volume it is here okay now i'm going to create the snapshot uh, sorry i'm going to create a volume from your snapshot so here i'm creating the volume from to the create the snapshot which are based on our previous volume so here i am creating the g P2 so we can just change basically you cannot change the existing volume but yes once I create the snap uh, volume from the snapshot I can change the volume type uh, here I am creating the GP2 as previous one was uh, magnetic so let's create here okay so you can see the volume is created here okay so it, it is in available state so I am attaching this volume to my existing instance okay same message okay so here we can see ls blk okay so xpdf is volume is attached so let's uh, mount mount brave x 
PDA to the file server. Okay, let's go to the file server directory and let's see if our file is restored or not. Okay, so guys, we got our files here. So this is our files which are stored in that uh, snapshot and we created snap uh, volume from that snapshot and you can see the all files are restored here okay guys and this is the volume and snapshot uh, thank you for this uh, watching this video please uh, subscribe my channel for more videos about the amazon web services thank you